A new day, another city. We are in a beautiful city known as Pink City, a city famous for its beautiful monuments, colorful culture, and exploring bazaars. We are in Jaipur. Amir Fort flaunts a colorful architectural design, a beautiful yellow beige palace has its own charm. As in Hinduism, these colors are often depicted in the clothes of wise Hindu deities such as Vishnu, Krishna and Ganesha. The color yellow symbolizes stability and knowledge and spring, light, warmth and happiness. It is also color of spring which activates the mind. The Amir Fort is a marvelous example of Rajputana architecture. It was built with red and white sandstone. It is perfect amalgamation of Hindu style architecture and Mughal finish. The palace overlooks the Mauta Lake and a beautiful lush green garden adds to its charm. Elephants take you through the steep passage going uphill and passing through many high arched gates and blind curves. Through the last and the highest arched gate known as Suraj Pole or Sun Gate as it faces towards east into the first courtyard of Amir Fort Jaleb Chok. This is one of the four courtyards of Amir Palace. An impressive stairway from Jaleb Chok leads into the main palace ground. Second courtyard, up the main stairway of the first level courtyard houses the Divane Arm or the Hall of Public Audience. Built with a double row of columns, the Divane Arm is a raised platform with white marble and red sandstone columns, each of which is mounted with an elephant shaped capital with galleries above it. As the name suggests, the king held audience here to receive and hear the petitions from the public. Adjacent to Divaneyam is a huge colorful three-level structure with a small entrance decorated with many frescoes known as Ganesh Pole or the Ganesh Gate named after Hindu God Lord Ganesha who removes obstacle in life and is known as the God of good luck and prosperity. It is the entry into the private palaces of the Maharajas. Above this gate is the Suhak Mandir where ladies of the royal family used to watch functions held in Divane Arm through lattice marble windows called Jalis. Once you enter the Ganesh pole, ceiling is decorated with magical flowers as they change the contrast of color as you turn around. Going through the blind curves, you enter into the third courtyard where the private quarters of the Maharajas are. The courtyard has two buildings separated by a garden laid in the fashion of the Mughal gardens. The building to the left is called Jai Mandir better known as Shish Mahal, which is exquisitely embellished with glass inlaid panels and multi-mirrored ceilings.
Tees Mahal, the mirror mosaics and colored glasses were a glittering jewel box in flickering candlelight. The other building seen in the courtyard opposite the Sees Mahal is known as the Sukh Nivas or Hall of Pleasure. The walls are decorated with marble inlay work with niches called Chini Khana. A piped water supply flows through an open channel that runs through this edifice, keeping the environs cool. As in an air conditioned environment, it is a wonderful work of engineering from the 16th century. Passing through the narrow passages and ramps, we entered into the fourth courtyard, Janana, where royal family women, including concubines, lived. This courtyard has many living rooms where the queens resided and who were visited by the king at his choice without being found out as to which queen he was visiting as all the rooms open into a common corridor. In the central courtyard of the Zenana is the pillared baradari or pavilion with 12 pillars. Frescoes and colored tiles decorate the rooms on the ground and upper floors. To understand the exciting stories of the Maharajas and the making of this fort, don't forget to hire a knowledgeable guide. The exit leads to the town of Amir, a heritage town with many temples, palatial houses and mosques. On the exit, you can find many street vendors and local musicians playing folk music. Your appreciation helps them earn their bread and butter, help local artisans and other people to earn their livelihood. So this was all from the beautiful Amir Palace. Hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, share and subscribe my channel Travaholic Nick. Until next time, next monument, Namaste.